All right, hello again. This is Jeff Scott, your instructor for the online version of 152, 157 website development, XHTML, CSS for the fall 2015 semester at Blackhawk Technical College. A couple things before we start. I'm going to add the contact form in just a minute for the Trump site. Uh, good news, under the issues, I fixed it. All right, now I'll show you my fix, and it may not mean anything to you, but I, I just want you to see it anyway. What I want, what I added was, I told it when you load the body of the issues.html file, call that hide all divs to hide everything, and that appears to be working. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this file that we've got right here. All right, which was the issues.html. I'm going to do a file, save as, and I'm going to save it to contact.html. All right, and as I've mentioned to you, I like to put it in double quotes just to make sure there's no problem with it. Okay, so I've got another file here. All right, got all this good stuff in here, and yeah, I don't, don't need to worry about the hide all divs. So I get rid of that. I do want a wrapper. I do want these things in here that we have for, for our different pages. Uh, I'll keep a header in there. I do want a nav section in the, uh, do I have an, I already have a nav. So I, under the header, I can get rid of this. I do want a main. That's where my form is going to go. But for, and for right now, I'll put a div in there and I'll give it an ID of form wrapper just in case there's something special I want to do with it there may not be all right so there's not much in here right now so Donald Trump on the issues uh, Donald Trump let's contribute all right we'll make it a contribution form this will now change to contact.html all right and I've got to change all the other ones that have that in there so it now says contact.html so I've got uh, let's open and we'll open our candidates our we already have the contact open our index and our issues let's open those there's issues and we want to now put that contact file is operational, so we should be done with issues. There's index. That will, again, change that contact. All right. Should be able to save that and close that. And our candidates file also, same kind of thing. All right. So, done all that. Let's check real quick. So let's refresh homeworks issues, candidates, and contact. And there's not much in the contact form because we haven't put it in yet. We're going to put that information in right now. All right, and what I'm going to do to try to make this go a little bit quicker is I'm going to grab everything that I had, first of all, in my form CSS file. I don't want, for the form, I'm just going to play with padding, there's my label, there's my input area, and there's my buttons. That looks fine. All right, I'll keep that. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a file. I'm going to do a save as, and I'm going to save that in my class website. I need a Chapter 8 folder now. I guess it's a Chapter 9 folder. And I want to save that, and I want to save it as, we'll just call it, yeah, form.css is fine. So we'll save that. Now I goofed up on here, so let me, I want to keep that one. That's the one I did as an example in class. That I now have, and it's okay. And that contact I'm going to remove. So what I want to do first is I want to come into my class website. 
I want to grab everything I had in Chapter 6, all these files, copy it to the clipboard, go into my Chapter 9 folder, which now has just form.css, and paste that in. All right, the form.css is going to go into my styles folder. So I'm going to move that there. Now, just because it's good practice, I'm going to go back to all these because I didn't have in Chapter 6, I didn't have a contact form. All right, so I'm going to open up these other three where I made the change, and I'm going to change it back to the way it was previously. So we've got that contact. I'm just going to say change that back. Yes, candidates is now okay. Issues is now okay. And index is Side. So those are now all fixed. All right, now, uh, file, save as. I'll have to save this as index 2. I hate this. All right, remove this, keep that. Give me just a second. I, I'm, I apologize for this. Don't need that index file anymore. This will now be index 2. I'm sorry, just index, sorry. So let's open that and make sure we didn't break anything. So home, issues, candidates, and contact doesn't do anything. That's what I wanted. That's the chapter six, the way it was looking. All right, now I want to close this. I want to go to my chapter nine folder. And now I'll open up all of these. Just Well, no, I'll tell you what. I'll just open up the index to make sure. So now I should be able to go to issues. Candidates and a contact. Good. So the only one I want to change now, so I go from issues to candidates, issues to contact, candidate to issues, candidates to home, candidates to contact, contact to candidates, contact to issues, contact to home. So I checked all my links. Everything seems to be linked up okay. Now I want to grab this file right here, this one, which I now have open. And whoops, and it's, uh, I don't know, well, let's, let's see. which I now have open here, and it's open as form.html. So I'm going to grab everything that's in my form from the beginning of the form tag on. So all that. Down to the bottom of my form. See, there's several lines. There's more than, you know, like close to about three or four hundred lines in here. Might even be more than that as I'm working my way down. All right, so we'll keep it. Let's see, we want, we'll keep everything, like I said. I'm going to go in and make changes to this in just a minute. So I got to open here from class website, chapter nine. I want to open the contact page. All right. And now in my main area here, now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paste in that form. All right. So it's going to look a little funky for right now, but we'll fix it up in just a minute. So we're in Chapter 9. There's our index. Now if we go over to our contact form, that's what it looks like. There's no CSS related to it yet, so don't let that worry you. It, it's totally fine. All right. Actually, there is a little CSS, but it's just goofed up for different reasons right now. And we'll fix this in just a minute. All right, or we'll start fixing it. Now, if I click Continue, I get it's trying to call that Thanks file, but I didn't port that over. So let's port that over. And I, hopefully I save that file someplace at thanks.html. There it is. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to throw that into my class website for Chapter 9. So I'll throw that into there, so paste. So now if I go over to Contact and I click Continue, thanks. Okay, that's, that's good. All right, so let's go in and start looking at what changes we have to make now to this file to get it to look the way we want it to look. So we've got all that stuff in there. 
and remember one thing we are not doing right now there's our CSS files so we also we have to come in here now and call our form.css file so I can just grab this one that's right here and instead of trump.css, this is form.css. All right, let's see if that made any changes to what we're working on. Okay, there's what it looks like now. So it's already coming to, coming to fruition where, oh, it doesn't look great, but it sure doesn't look bad either. All right, so I'm going to ma start making some changes in here because there's some things in here I want, some I don't want, etc. So let's go in and we'll take a look at what's in there. So let's look at the, we'll open up contact.html. All right. So instead of name, I want this to be first name. And I'm going to repeat that. And I also want last name. All right. So this will be F name here, here, this will say first, this will be L name, I don't worry about a middle initial or anything, I could always add that if I wanted to, so last name, instead of company, I'm going to put here organization, you know, it might be yourself, it might be something else, I'm going to just call this org, org, and organization. All right, I'm just going to have an address. I'm not going to have an address 1 and an address 2. So I'm just going to have here an address. So that'll just say address, address. So enter address here. I won't want this other one that's here. All right, so let, let's see what it's looking like now. First name, last name, organization, city, state, zip. And it looks to me like I want to push these two down just a real little bit. So for state and for country, so I want to give them IDs in case they don't have them. Um, let's see. Select ID equals state. And where that said right here, four equals, that should have also been state. All right. And for a country, I think we already put one in, and that's country. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my form, C whoops, my form CSS file. Let's open that one up. And there's not really a lot in here. All right. So for the form, um, let's see, I've got the buttons, input text area. Etc. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say ID state and ID country. And I'm going to come in and try to add some. Uh, let's see what do I want to do here? I want this to be pushed down. So I think that's top padding. So I'm going to try to say padding top. 10 pixels. Now again, I may have made it better, I may have made it worse. So let's take a look. I'm trying to push this down, etc. Whoa! That did some magical stuff, didn't it? Well, when that kind of stuff happens, the easiest thing to do is just remove what you just did. I said I just would wish that was pushed down a little bit that's okay and I wish that was pushed down a little. they're not terrible the way they are all right so we've got first name last name organization address city state zip country we don't even need a country in there we're going to assume that everyone who's contributing is from the United States all right whether that's a good assumption or not doesn't really matter it also will allow us to clean this file up quite a bit 
won't be nearly as long as it was. So there's about there's there must be one one to two hundred countries in here. All right. It's already get it's already cleaning up. Looks like I want to tap these over and these over and these and this and that's good. All right. So now let's see what we have. Okay, the country will disappear as soon as we refresh. All right. So what do we have? First name, last name, organization, address, city, state, zip, email address. We don't need a favorite URL, but a phone number would be nice. All right, so we'll, we'll put that in there. So we'll re, we're going to remove the favorite URL. We're going to add something in just a minute. So this favorite URL, we don't need that. All right. How about this? We're going to put in a couple things here. I'm not going to add all that much more to this. All right, it's not looking terrible the way that it is. So I'm going to try to add a couple things that they discussed in the chapter that we really didn't go through in most of the examples. So um, let's see. Now, we don't have to do this, but we could put a legend in here in a field set, but they're already... When you look at it, this already has got the stuff around it, so that looks okay the way it is. So I'm just going to leave it that way. All right. Thought I removed that favorite URL. Did I save when I got done? No. All right, so that's gone. All right. I'm going to put in here... Um, checkbox and a radio button okay and it's going to push that way down so i'm going to try to do the best i can so it doesn't so we still have everything on the same page but that's what i'm going to add and i'm almost going to be finished with this so after all my stuff but right before my buttons which i'll fix those also i'm going to come in here and i'm going to say um Input, in, you know, input type equals checkbox, name equals, we're going to call that email, ID is going to be equal to email, and value is going to be Yes, you'll see all this in just a minute, okay? Um, <clears throat> and we'll put in here email. No, we don't want to be our here. We want a couple NBSP tags. Let's put in three. All right, we're going to add something else to this in just a minute. So it, it's going to look funky for a minute, but bear with me and it should be fine. All right, so phone, 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 and I like the oil, well, at least they have lowercase, so for their names. So P, P, this will say USPS mail. So we're going to come in here and we're going to say this, uh, label, and I don't need to say the four equals or anything, I'm just going to say here, best way to contact you, leave it like that, label. Again, this may not be perfect, so I may have to make changes when I get done, so let's see what we just did. All right, best way to contact you so it's not wide enough. And we want the email, the phone, all that stuff. Okay. All right, so we'll have to fix that. 
and those aren't formatted yet and that's why it looks so funky uh, I'll change this from best way to contact you to contact contact you via just keep it like that hopefully that'll work contact you via might still be uh, boy. so let's go over to our CSS instead of making that 125 pixels we'll make that 140 pixels all right then that should make this wide enough so contact you via now we got to just take this stuff for our email etc we got to fix that all right so I want basically to have that be set up the same way that my labels are set up. Follow a bold, I want to float. Uh, that would be my text boxes. Margin 10 pixels, display block. All right, and I think I want these to display inline. So we're going to see that right now. Um, so when we did these, we've got type equals checkbox, etc. So it's checkbox. We got buttons. So for our checkbox. We'll give them a margin top of 10 pixels. I'm going to try here saying display inline. Again, I might be making it better, I might be making it worse. We'll see. Oops, we don't need that. And that did absolutely nothing. So our checkboxes. What if we float that to the right? It's the problem when I do something like this. I'm doing it off the top of my head here. And that didn't do anything. All we want is we want that email to come over here, then a, then the, the other checkbox and phone and the other checkbox and USPS mail. Text areas. It shouldn't be blocked, though. I don't believe. Okay, it doesn't like anything that I'm doing in here. All right, so contact you via. I want to put that in there. Oh. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to think about this. So I'm going to pause the video. And as soon as I come up with the answer, I'll come right back at you, because we're 23 minutes in already. All right, I'm back. I figured out most of the problems that I had. And here's my final form. I did put in some HTML5 stuff that really isn't listed in much detail in the book. Every field that's in here is required. So notice if I leave one off, it says, please fill out the field. Go ahead and fill out my first name. And I hit continue. Now it says, please, please fill out the field. All right. So if I do fill in everything, it's the wrong zip code, and I'm still not sure why it looks like that, but it does. Now notice if I put it in, I put a zip code in there incorrectly. Please match the requested format. It has to be either five numbers or five numbers in the dash and four numbers. The email address must be a valid email address. If I don't, please match again the requested format. All right, and for that, and the phone number must be in a number, 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 dash, number, 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 
dash number 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 format. I also put in radio buttons and check boxes. All right, so if everything is okay and I click continue, I go to my thanks. If I want to, I can clear everything out at once. All right, so what I'm going to do is very quickly just walk you through what I did here. All right, so I changed this up a little bit. Where are we here? I don't want you yeah. on the contact form. I changed it up a little bit. I said, uh, let's connect. All fields are required, and I made this red and bold. All right, I broke this up so each thing was on its own line so you could see it. So for each of the text boxes, they have a label, they have the type equal text, they've got their own name, their own ID, which matches the name, size, which is the size of the text box. I made it 40 for all of them, then the max length. I made everyone required and I put in a placeholder. So I did that for first name, last name, organization, address, city, state. I did the same way as I showed you in the in the in class. Zip code, same kind of thing. Notice I made the max length 10 because it's 5 with a dash and 4 or just 5. All right. So the max length has got to be 10. This says 5 digits right there backslash D means digits and five of them. Since this is in parentheses, this means that it's optional. If you use it, you use a hyphen followed by four digits. So that's why it says the format is either NNNNN or NNNNN-NNNN. The email address, I made it type email. All right. The phone number, I just set it up, I made it real simple, and notice I showed another way that you can do, these. so these are regular expression patterns, and I showed you another way you can do the patterns. So that says any digit 0 through 9, three, three of them followed by a dash, any digit 0 through 9, three of those followed by a dash, and any digit 0 through 9, four of those. The gender, I made a radio button. The employment, I made full-time, part-time, or either one. I put a blank label in here so it would line up, and here are my buttons. All right, and again, it's far from perfect. I have my own CSS just for this particular file, so not only do I add the trump.css, but I've got the form.css in there also. So again, you'll see that when you run it, that's what it looks like. It is far from perfect. Okay, so now I got my home done, my issues done, and it works. All right, my candidates page is done, my contact page is done. Next, I'm going to go over chapter 10, and chapter 10, there, there will be no update to this website on it, but chapter 10 was on web development. Then when I get to chapter 11, in chapter 11, it's on web multimedia and interactivity. So someplace in one of these forms or somewhere, I'm going to try to, you know, maybe even in here, try, try to put in some kind of a little YouTube clip or something from Donald Trump. I'll do that. Then in chapter 12 is on e-commerce. And if I can, I'm not sure if I will or not, I might try to have a thing where you can buy a Donald Trump button or a Donald Trump hat or something. If I have time, I'll do that in uh, chapter 12. Chapter 13, there will not be an update to the website. It's on web promotion. In chapter 14, I'm going to go back to some of the JavaScript that I wrote and see if I can rewrite it using jQuery. All right, so that's it for right now.